kung mayroon po ako oportunidad na kakausapin ko yung susunod na leader ho natin, sabi ko dalawa lang ang dapat i-focus. Education at tulungan natin mga negosyante. Alam ko marami ho tayong mga negosyante ho dito. Education dahil pababa ng pababa po yung kalidad ng edukasyon ho sa ating bansa. At marami ho tayong masosolve, marami tayong mariresolve ba kung pinalakas ho natin yung edukasyon ho natin. Paano? Una-una, suportahan ho natin mga guru ho natin. Kung hindi ho magaling ang ating guru, sigurado ang sistema ng edukasyon ho natin na mahina. At pangalawa, dapat suportahan po ang uh, mga negosyante. Ininiwala po ako, if we support our small businesses, our medium businesses, marami ho trabaho malilikha. Marami ho tayong matutulungan. Next year will be a very critical year for us because next year hopefully will be the recovery year for all of us. And uh, I say this to our JCI senators because I believe that the JCI is a hotbed and the home of many, many good leaders and especially those ones entering the JCI. Alam niyo po, product rin po ako ng JCI. And through the help of Senator JB, na-revive po namin yung JCI Valenzuela. Now, I was actually a president twice because we were a revival. And because of my participation to JCI, it gave me the opportunity to go around. Nakita ko po yung mga iba't ibang organizations sa ating bansa. At nakita ko ang JCI ay hotbed for future leaders. And that's why I want to call on the JCI Senate to continue our passion in training future leaders. Continue our passion in making sure that we have the right crop of leaders leading in your, your own field and maybe, maybe leading the country in the future. Hindi natin malaman, baka nandito ho sa kwarto yung susunod na Presidente, susunod na Vice President. If Senator, sigurado nandito ho na ho dito sa kwarto, di ba ho? Kaya mga kasama, I, I am calling upon our group, the JCI Senate, to continue our advocacy in training young leaders. This is very important because definitely our ordinary voters will look at qualities that might not contribute to the recovery of our country. And we need to choose our leader wisely next year.